What's up YouTube, it's Taco Twans here. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be working on our 2020 Tacoma and we're going to be installing the uh, Moly Rack here made by uh, Cali Raised. So as you can see, we have the full system here installed. So one of the best things about this Moly Rack system is that you can uh, mount all of your uh, accessories, all your camping accessories, overlanding accessories onto the sides here very securely without um, having to just throw it into the truck bed and having it slide all around and uh, on top of that if you mount all of your accessories on the sides here you have a lot more room on your actual bed to uh, accommodate for all of your other accessories that you need for um, camping or overlanding and um, we have a rotopax mounted on there just to show you guys um, like a mounting point where you put on there but you can also put your um, recovery gear in here you can put like your axe um, even your uh, high lift and you can mount all of that onto this uh, molly rack system very securely so that's one of the reasons why we really like it and um, we're going to show you guys how to uh, install this now today we are going to be installing the um, molly system on the uh, 2020 tacoma here so uh, these are made by Cali Raised and uh, we have two parts for this. So one is going to be the it's going to be uh, against the cab and then the other two pieces are going to be for the side of the bed rack, but for now we're going to start with the uh, one that goes against the cab here. So uh it'll have like the wheel bulge cut out so you'll know it's for the um back of the cab there. So if you s look at these two pieces one of them has like a slant in the middle and that slant piece is going to sit on top of the other piece so that you can have a uh, flush feel to it from the front side. So this will be the back side here. So you'll line up all the holes and uh, you will use the top, very top, very center, and the very bottom hole here. So here is all the hardware that comes for just the piece that goes against the cab here. So you got some uh, long skinny bolts over here, you got some washers, you got bigger washers, spacers, and you got some uh, short bolts, and then you got your nuts over here, and then you got two of these brackets that will uh, sit on the two bed bolts. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna grab three of these guys and uh, three washers. We're gonna need six, but we're gonna put in three of them first, like so. We need uh, three of these guys. So this is what you're gonna do first. You're gonna come from the um, bottom side up because the other side is the uh, front so just lift it a little bit like this slide it up like that put another washer in there and then your locking nut so it's going to be the very bottom middle and the very top hole washer, nut, and then this one will go in the center. Washer, nut. And then we'll go ahead and tighten these up first and then we'll flip it over to get these two uh, brackets in. All right, so we have it on the tailgate here. I'm just gonna push it to the side a little bit. The, uh, it, the other side is gonna be an Allen wrench that you wanna hold down and then just tighten it with the 13. Alright, now we're going to flip this guy over, so this will be your front, so 
so those bolts are going to be uh, more uh, flush rather than the other end with the bolt sticking out. So these two holes at the bottom here, we're going to be putting this guy in here, like so. So the way it sits, it'll sit like this against the cap. And these guys, this hole here is going to be your new uh, mounting hole for your bed bolt. So you take those two bolts out and it's going to now go through this. So we'll put these guys in. It's going to be the same uh, bolt uh, washer, same washer and nuts. So it's going to go make sure it's matching these other ones that you have in already. So go down like that. Don't forget your washer. And then washer on the other end, and then your nut. And we will tighten this down and do the other side. So you don't want to tighten this all the way down because you're still going to adjust it to where it'll match up to that uh, bed bolt there. And uh, to the other side, all right. still adjustable. Okay, cool. All right, so now we got to remove some of this stuff on the bed. All right, so you're going to take a T40. You only have to remove one of these uh, tie downs just to uh, slide the uh, molly rack into the uh, against the cab here after you got that one tie down removed use your t30 we're going to remove these five bolts here All right, so the last thing we're going to remove is the uh, bed bolts. It's going to be a T55. And you might want to use like a breaker or a longer ratchet. Let's remove this on both sides and then we can start putting in the uh, molly rack. All right, so we're going to bring our uh, molly rack back over here. You're going to slide it into the one side with the uh, tie down still there and then you can push in the other side just like that. Just kind of line it up there. So uh, once we get to this step here if you guys look at this bolt here it is sitting against the raised the highest point of the bed here and it's just sitting flat against that so once that's sitting dead center right there you're going to want to uh, align these brackets with your uh, bed bolt holes just like that and on this side just like that so once you have it to where those holes match up go ahead and just lift this back out a little bit so alan in the front here take the ratchet to the back And just tighten it down. It should have been like kind of tightened already from when we assembled it. You just want it to be a little bit loose to where you could adjust this still. Now we're gonna go to the other side. The same thing. All right, so once we have these two bolts for the brackets tightened down, you can now align this rack to the back of the cab again. And this time, we're going to align these five holes with the five holes that are on the bed itself. Once you've got that all lined up, 
I'm gonna use these um, long bolts. You're gonna take a bolt, a washer, and one of these spacers. This is how it's gonna go. We're gonna start in the center. Just put the bolt through like that. The spacer on the other side of the rack. And once you get it lined up with the hole there, for the first one, you're gonna wanna lift up the rack a little bit just to loosen the tension. And then you can start to hand tighten that a little bit. And then now you can just do the rest of them here the same exact way. Bolt spacer, washer, bolt washer, and then spacer. Right. And just get a couple turns. And we're going to do that to all five of them before we start tightening down. So we're going to take these uh, bed bolts, slide them in there. And you could start to uh, just hand tighten this down as much as you can. Don't tighten those down all the way yet. We're gonna go back up to these uh, top longer bolts and we're gonna start tightening those. So I'm just gonna take some tension off of it by lifting it a little bit and make it a lot easier. All right, so last step after we tighten these top bolts, we're gonna tighten the uh, bed bolt here and that's it all done all right guys so now we are going to be doing the side panels of this uh, molly system so for the rear it's going to be really simple you're going to have your two t slots at the top here and then you're going to have two holes at the bottom here these two holes for the bottom you're just going to remove these two corner bolts and then you'll put them back on with these uh, holes here. And then for the two T-slots, you're just going to pop this guy out. You will slide in two T-slots into here, like so. And you're going to put them on the same position as these two slots. And then you uh, put a washer into this bolt here. And then you just attach it to the T-slot like that and that's it for the uh if you just do the uh, rear side panel but today's video we're gonna do the uh, full installation for you guys to see for the full installation of the side panels on this moly system uh, we're gonna have two of these uh, side panels and the easiest way to pair them up is um look for the uh, bend which is this piece here where it bends down and then grab another piece the other front piece that will have the same bend if you have one of these with the bend on this side it won't work because you're gonna have two screws here that need to go into each other and uh, for the full system that's actually gonna be the first step you do is attaching these two side panels first before you get installing onto the bed itself so that's what we're gonna do so for the hardware we're gonna have three rubber bumpers here and then you'll have the uh, small bolts that go into these bumpers with some uh, washers and uh, nuts and then over here these are for connecting the two side panels together you have two bolts with uh, two nuts and four washers and then for the T-slots, you're gonna have three sets of those, three bolts and three washers as well. All right, so step one, we are gonna put line these up, make sure it's the uh, same side. And then the hardware for it, it's gonna be bolt washer. And then uh, let's flip this over so we can actually do it. Okay. So there you go. We're going to slide it through. 
like that. And then uh, washer on the other side before the nut. Just like that, and then we will tighten that down. So just hold the nut down with an 11 uh, millimeter wrench on one side, and then the other side is going to be an Allen wrench. All right, so for the uh, front side panel, it comes with these rubber bumpers, and uh, the hardware that comes with it. So what these are going to look like, they're going to be sitting on the uh, back side, so like that. It's going to be on the front panel on these three holes here. So it'll go in like that. And then the other side, you have a washer and the nut, like that. And how these hardware go in is pretty simple. Just push it through on one side. And then grab an Allen wrench and just uh, twist it all the way down. So put that through, washer, alright so same thing we're going to hold one side where the nut is and then the other side you can uh, use your allen wrench and tighten it or the other way around. Alright guys, so after you guys tighten these down, just remember that these are rubber, so they're not gonna you're not gonna feel like a whole lot of tension when you're tightening it down. Just make sure they're uh, snug enough to where it's not moving anymore, and that should be good. So for your tie downs, you want to um, if you want to use them, still put this up against the truck and see where it can sit so like it can sit over here 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 or even out on the edge here so we'll just leave them like in the middle here all right so once you figure out where you want your uh, tie downs to be we're gonna slide in the uh, t-slots you're gonna need uh, three of these and these are gonna go where these slots are so we're going to slide them down to approximately where they're going to be sitting in and we'll line them up again later. slots in matching with these slots here and we have our tie downs in between the uh, three slots so now we can just line it up and then we will put the uh, bolt in that holds them in place along with the washers all right so once we've got everything lined up here we're gonna remove these two corner bolts from this uh, cubby and we will reuse these bolts for these holes down here on the uh, panels. Okay. All right, after you remove those two bolts on the cubby here, we're gonna have to remove this uh, other tie down. For the uh, front piece, you only had to take one off to slide this in. But if you're going to use the side panels, we're going to have to take these off anyways. And now, if you guys are using your um, tie downs here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to slide this underneath the tie down first. So it doesn't sit on top of it. that 
And then what you want to do is start the two uh, bolts on the cubby here. That way it's going to be uh, sitting up while you uh, do the rest of the uh, T slots. For the T slots, you're going to grab your bolt and washer and line up the uh, T slot there with the slot on the panel and just start it by hand. Once you catch it, it'll be good. Okay, now you can grab your uh, Allen wrench and tighten the T-slots down. Okay, now we can now we can tighten all these uh, bolts down. And don't forget the two cubby. And uh, this way you can still use your uh, tie downs here. And, you and then just put on this plastic piece cap. There you go. You have your uh, side panel molly system. So for your driver side panel here, um, the 2020 does not have a cubby. Therefore you will have the two bolts over here for these two holes. So uh, pretty much uh, it's going to be holding on to the top uh, T-slots here and um, what you can do is either just leave it like that held on by just the top T-slots and leave the bottom just hanging there or the, another option you can do is um, you can uh, add your own uh, nut certs which look like these here so pretty much you're going to drill your own holes over here that will have these nut certs and then you can put your own bolt into it and have it more sturdy but um, for this video we're just gonna have it hanging on just the uh, t-slots okay so we've got the driver side panel all tightened down now with the uh, t-slots and as you can see back here there's no cubby so you don't have um, mounting points down here so this is tightened down all the way and that's all the um, flex you're gonna get out of it without those two mounting points down at the bottom so it's still really sturdy so if you um, feel like you need two more then go ahead and do those nut search but this is perfectly fine for us so um, that's the complete uh, Molly system install front and the side panels and we also, uh, while we were back here, we put on a um, Rotopax mount and we are gonna mount this uh, Rotopax on here. So it's just uh, four bolts mounted to the bracket back here. And uh, slide the Rotopax in, give it a turn, and it's secure. While we're back here, we're gonna also try to see what else we can mount on here. So we got a big ol' axe that we're gonna probably mount to the, uh, one of the sides here. Maybe like, like that. That looks pretty good right there. All you'll need to mount this uh, axe onto the side panel here, you're gonna need two quick fists. Probably one at the top and one at the bottom here. And it'll hold on just fine on the side there. All right guys, so that is it for today's installation video. Super easy and uh, another very effective mod for the Tacoma. So um, check it out guys, uh, that's it for today's video. Peace.